Good morning, giraffes. How's everyone doing today? I hope everyone had a long, nice weekend and you are ready to learn about that card game I told you about. So if you've got your cards, get them in front of you. Okay, so this is called a deck of cards and it is a bunch of numbers and four suits. So there are 52 cards in a deck and there are four suits. So I'm gonna start off by showing you what the four suits are and we'll talk a little bit about it. So I've got the suit of clubs, which this is the 10 of clubs. That's what a club looks like. It looks like a little uh, flower, if you will, okay? The next one that we have is called a spade and this is the ten of spades so when you see this shape you know that that is called a spade this is a shape you should all know what is that that's right it's a heart so this is the ten of hearts and here is another shape you should know it's a diamond and that's called the ten of diamonds now each suit has an ace, which looks like this, which is another way to say one because you can count the hearts on there and that is one. And then there's two. And if you look at each of these cards, the symbols that are on there amount to the number on the card. So these are, this is the two of hearts. Here's the three of hearts. Here's the four of hearts. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So they go from one to 10 in each suit. And then there are some cards that are also in the suit. We're not gonna do much talking about those today, but these are called face cards. And that, all that means is that there are faces on these. So here's a jack, a queen, and a king. See, they have faces, but we'll talk about these another time. So right now, all I want you to know is that in the suit of clubs, it goes from one or ace two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In spades, it does the same thing. Ace or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here's hearts, same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And diamonds has the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, in order to play the game that I want to teach you, which is called War, you need to put all of four of those suits together and you're gonna shuffle them. Mommies and daddies might have to help you. All that means is that you're gonna put them together and you're going to mix them up. I'm just mixing my cards up because I had them all in suits and now I just wanna mix them. So, what you would do to play war, I think you could probably even play this by yourself or with one of your brothers or sisters or with your mom and dad. So you eat, you split the deck in half. Let's just say I have this deck and you have that deck. So you, you draw a card. So I'm gonna draw for me. Oh, I drew the one or the ace of diamonds. Now I'm gonna draw for you. Let's pretend this is your stack of cards over here. You drew the four of clubs. Which number is bigger, the four or the one? So we know that four is bigger than one. We can even count the symbols on the card to figure that out. So you, whoever it is that I'm talking to that pulled the four of clubs has won this hand because your number is bigger than mine. 
So you take that. Now let's do another one. Here's my second card. Another ace. Another one. And you drew the five of diamonds. So the five again is bigger than the ace. So you would win that one. So that's how you play the game of war. Another thing that you can be doing math-wise is you could be taking a pair of die or a set of dice and you can roll them and you can write down what numbers you drew. So I just threw that pair of dice and I have a six and I have a four. So I'm going to write the number six and then I'm going to write the number four. Now that's just, you can do that as long as you want. That is good practice for writing the number line. It goes through from one to 10. But if you wanted to do something more, you could put a plus sign right there, which means you add, and you could add a six and a four. Now you would need some marbles or some beans or something to help you. So what you would do is put six, let's say we have beans, just some pinto beans. Put six beans here, put four beans here, and then you add them together, and that will give you 10. If you added six beans and four beans, you would have 10 beans. So if you just want to roll and write, that's fine. Roll, write, add. You can just turn this into any kind of game that you would like. And then you can play war with the cards. All right, tomorrow we're going to have a Zoom class. Not Zumba, although I need Zumba. We're going to have a Zoom class. And um, hopefully we can all talk about what we're learning and what we're going to learn. But right now, I know that y'all have been so good about writing your names and writing your phone numbers and the number line and the alphabet, and I hope you're cutting too. So I have some more things to show you tomorrow when we, when we get on our Zoom class. So I look forward to seeing you then. Love you guys. Oh yeah, and our, let's not forget, we're still doing our patterning. All right, talk to you soon. Love you guys. Love you giraffes. Bye.